In this video, I'm reviewing Mark Rober's creative engineering class, which took place January 2021 on monthly.com. It's basically his years of experience as a NASA engineer and an Apple engineer, all condensed down into a month long course that you can take no matter what your skill level is. The class was very well thought out with about 13 hours of just straight video education split up over the entire month. I appreciated it because it broke down very complicated concepts into smaller bite-sized pieces that I was able to understand and I have no experience as an engineer whatsoever. This could be a very fun solo project, but it could also be a great family project or a project that you can do with friends as well. There were people at all ages of the spectrum in the classes. Uh, a lot of the younger, younger kids were working with their family members and it was all the way up from basic no skills to people who were engineers themselves creating these phenomenal projects that we all got to share, comment on and see and enjoy as well. The class is broken down into three different segments. The first being the mechanical build, which is basically anything moving without electronics. The second covers the electrical components of engineering and software encoding. And then the third allows you to bring both mechanical and electrical engineering, combine the two, and then present that in a very compelling story format. Not only do you get to create a build that you're very proud of, but you also get to share that build with a community that is very positive and always looking to help you along the road at, from the time where you're basically forming your ideas all the way until your final build. I was in there consistently commenting on other people's posts um, and even though I didn't necessarily have a lot of value to add to everybody's projects, I was able to at least help out in some of the idea phase, even if it didn't necessarily include a lot of the engineering aspects. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter what your skill level, there is a place for you in the class and that makes it a lot more fun. So let's briefly discuss the cost of this class. $250 for the value that you get out of this class, absolutely worth it. I would say, you can go and spend $250 going to some amusement parks or just going for a night on the town or whatever it is that you're planning to do. And at the end of the day, you really don't have a ton to leave with it. This was absolutely worth it because you get so much out of it. And for $250, they could have easily charged double and it would have been worth it. Absolutely worth it. Now, when it comes to your material costs, I'd say that you can probably get away spending less money, especially if you have tools already at home, but um, wait to enroll into the class. And once you enroll in the class, then you can figure out what it is that you'll be needing and what it is that you'll be using for your specific builds and your projects. So was it worth it? Yes, absolutely 100%. For me, this was a great experience. I would absolutely do this again, but I will caution you you're going you're gonna to get out of it what you put into it. If you are not willing to put in a little bit of time and go through the classes and put in your own effort, you're probably not going to get much out of it. Big surprise there. <laughs> so I was probably putting in about 10 hours a week, maybe 10 to 15, but a lot of that was dedicated to me learning how to use the tools that I bought because this was really one of the first times that I've actually built anything. And so since this was the first time, it, there was a learning curve with using the drill. And for a good portion of it, I was drilling in reverse. And so I wasn't really getting anywhere. And when I was using the saws, I wasn't really working them like I should have. So it prompted me to go out and learn how to use the tools that I purchased. And that was a big portion of the learning curve too. One of the biggest challenges that I had throughout the class was the timeframes. It was really difficult to be able to learn the principles, figure out how to use the tools, and to create three builds during that month. However, the best part about that is it didn't allow you to get hung up on trying to make something perfect because in the beginning, I spent so much time trying to work on my first build that it started to set me back when it came to the other one. So it, Keep that in mind when you're doing this class, it's for your own enjoyment. You don't have to be perfect with everything. And the best policy is just to get moving on it and try to create something that you are proud of, but it, it, is, it doesn't need to be perfect. We're not sending anybody to Mars with these projects. So that's, that's definitely a positive. It's been six months since I've taken the class. And even now I still refer back to the lessons because every day we deal with a number of challenges and problem solving is pretty much in our daily lives. 
So when it came to the brainstorming and just different ways to attack problems, I, I think it was just a great lesson overall. So for that reason, I would highly recommend the class and I hope you have a great time. Please let me know down in the comments if you do take the class and I'd love to see your projects. Take care. Let's see, let's see if we can get this to work again and make sure it works this time. close enough but that's gonna be it for now <laughs> hey sometimes you live and you learn right, and yeah, uh it's good it's good <laughs>